Why hello YouTube. Today, oh hey guys, <laughs> forgot to introduce myself today. I, wow, fail again, okay. Hello guys, I am Nathan here today, or Mom's Curry, okay, and uh, today we bring you a gold, a gold, 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 legit gold MP7 gameplay, and this was requested by my friend Danny in my second hour, and I apologize for not getting getting uh, it done for you in a while. Um, I've been really busy, and you, you know, i kind of forgotten. I'm um, sorry for the crap quality, by the way. My uh, Dazzle loves to drop frames when I'm, uh, it seems like when I am uh, doing high quality videos, it loves to drop frames, you know, it's just my Dazzle loves me that much. Um, my final score in this video, I believe, was 30 and 12, which I think is a good KDR, it's like a, it's like a 2 point, it's over 2.5, that's all I know. Um, any of you guys that are good at math, I'm good at math, but I'm too lazy to calculate this crap, so, um, uh, what we're gonna, this video, we're gonna, we're gonna make a little, uh, what I my opinion on this gun here. All right, so the MP7 for all you guys that are kind of new to Modern Warfare 3 or do not have Modern Warfare 3 yet. Um, it is the last submachine gun unlocked in its category. Now, this is not just any ordinary uh, submachine gun. It's like a, a Scorpion on steroids. Um, let's say this thing, this baby can kill in two shots, real close range, um, as you can see in this video. But the this, the down effect is to it is that it takes about six to seven shots at a long range to kill. Which I think is kind of sad, but it's alright. It's, you know, something that can be dealt with. Um, just to tell you guys, before I get trolled or whatever, um, the uh, MP7 is not the only gun I use in this game. The FMG9 and Kimbo's I do get two kills with, and a couple IMS kills and an airstrike kill. Just so you guys don't think I'm uh, lying to you about the MP7 gameplay here. Um, I'm using Scavenger, Assassin, and Sitra Pro. So if you do see me pre fire a lot, you can look at my radar, you clearly can see I'm not using any radar hacks. I can hear people when I was making this gameplay, I was using my turtle, not using my turtle beaches. Um, I can just hear people. It's just too easy to, uh, just too easy in this game. Um, people claim on Black Ops it was harder to hear people. I still can hear people perfectly, even if I wore Ninja Pro or whatever. I could take Ninja Pro off and I can hear people. Um, and this game actually extended to its last second because, dude, uh, this game was, this, this, this match was full of campers and low levels, and low levels tend to, uh, you know, like to uh, warm the can the corners up, and sh they should rename themselves Marshmallow Roasters because they camp a lot. Um, I think this is gonna go on my uh, Facebook as well, so we can, uh, you know, kind of share the share this uh, gun review guide out here. Um, what I recommend this game mode for is free for all, of course, um, and some game uh, team based game modes because you don't want any team uh, game modes really that much because you want to get the kills and you don't want anybody jacking your kills um, and which is really common with this game because people will jack your kills a lot because um, this gun only it takes a lot of shots to kill but if you um, if you're kind of good with it it might not take that long but um, also just for my uh, friend here Danny um, just to say that the mp7 is kind of broken in this game as in the fire rate changes I'm not sure if you can notice it, but the fire rate does change. Um, it goes from high to low, and then high to low. Um, it's just simply just because the, uh, the 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 game developers don't really do their job really well, and uh, make seem to make simple mistakes like this. And I refuse to put rapid fire in any of my guns. But um, I really this gun is amazing. The thing is, what I hate about it though is the range is kind of terrible, and it can't be fixed because the range uh, on the SMGs only affects medium, and I like shooting a at long, uh, lar long range. Sorry about that. I was supposed to say large range. It kind of sound funny, but um, I, I just, I don't, I like shooting long range shots a lot. So I, that range thing only works on uh, submachine guns. I mean, on in medium range combat, it doesn't work uh, far range combat. So, um, what, uh, what attachments I recommend you guys use is um. I, I recommend you guys use a suppressor. Unless you like to rush around and want everybody to know where you are, then you can feel free to take this suppressor off and replace it with extended mags. I believe there's extended mags in this gun, not sure. Um, after that, I mean, I recommend also the red dot sight, as you can see here. Unless you're, because without the red dot sight, the sights zoom in like so close, it's kind of hard to kill people with, in my opinion. But if you're used to it, then don't worry about that. The red dot sight is just there because I like it and I think it's a, a nice addition to this gun especially how you can customize your reticle I think I was using I'm not sure which one I was using but it wasn't the last one you unlock I'm not sure I think it was no it wasn't I know it wasn't because I don't use that last one that you unlock because that one's kind of a uh, stupid in my opinion it's the 
for all you guys that don't have a modern for three, yet again, is uh, that you can customize the reticles in this game uh, for Wii, and that's kind of a you know an upside to the Wii. Um, but the last uh, reticle you can unlock for every gun with the uh, red dot sight slash holographic sight is the um, the reticle that is used on G11 scope. I mean, G yeah, G11 scope in uh, Black Ops, which um, it's kind of accurate. It's not really, really accurate in my opinion because when you fire this gun, you can actually see the, where the bullets land, and they're not really accurate. Like, there's this glitch on the Scar L, I believe, if you put it with a... It's, I think it's either new tube or shotgun attachment. It will, uh, the sights will be mislocated, which is kind of, uh, sad, but, you know, you can tell Treyarch, you know, Treyarch didn't really test this game out for Wii. Um, they just put it on the market and gave us a broken game, which, you know, I, I really, really feel sorry for them because, you know, they're giving themselves a bad reputation, and that's just, you know, bad on their part, not mine, because I purchased the game and I got this, and they scammed me technically because I would have only paid, this This is the quality of a DS game, alright? Not 3DS, 3DS games beat this, I mean, even graphics-wise, I'm not really much of a graphics fan, I really don't care what graphics plan, but... If a 3DS can beat a Wii in processing, that is really, really, really sad. Because I watch, on my 3DS, I actually watch videos on there. And guess what? They look HD. I'm not kidding you. They look HD. They don't look like trash like uh, what Nintendo did. I mean, Treyarch put here. They could have improved the graphics a teeny bit, but I'm not really worried about graphics. Because I can understand that there is some things that can't be fixed. And there are things like uh, the rate of fire issues that can be fixed. But, um, the rate of fire, uh, rapid fire in the PP90, don't expect it, just saying, because, uh, the thing is, the, it is rapid firing, you just can't notice it, because the Wii's, uh, frames per second is 30, and it fires more than, uh, it fires, I'd say it fires more than 30 bullets per second with rapid fire, I'm not sure, something for all you guys that have an Xbox PS3 to look up, that's something you could look up for me is if it fires more than 30 bolts in a second. If it can't, if it does with rapid fire, then that's the reason we, it doesn't work on Wii. Um, another thing I really, really love about this gun is it doesn't have much recoil. Especially when you're uh, when you're prone for some weird reason. I don't know if it works on this gun, but um, it seems to have less recoil, which I don't know if it's a glitch, because I know on the snipers and LMGs it's all, it works like that, which is unique, because those are the guns, well... The guns people don't really look towards using when they first get the game. They usually go for the SMGs or assault rifles, which I don't blame them because I used the SMG first when I got this game. Um, because sniping was pretty much dead when uh, this game came out. And it still is kind of, it's not dead, it's just killed. Because there's no skill in sniping anymore. Um, because of the uh, fact that you can quick scope with a quick draw and you can... A um, snipe with ACOG, which I really don't mind people snipe ACOG if you're gonna brag about your quick scoping skills. Um, when you're uh, sniping with ACOG, then you know that's kind of honestly really sad. Don't know why. Um, I have many friends that ACOG snipe, but I really they don't quick scope. They just sit, you know sit back in the map and hard scope, which I don't blame them. If they qu well if they quick scope with ACOG, it's fine with me. But the thing is, if they're gonna brag about it, that's what really ticks me off. And I pick, I don't even have to pick their weapon up to see. Like if it says custom on there, I can just literally look at the gun in third person and tell if it's a, it's an ACOG sight or it's just a regular scope or a thermal scope. It's what another great feature to this game that I love. On Wii, you can now see all third person attachments, even a holographic sight, even a freaking noob tube. Doesn't everybody like that? <laughs> Let's move back on to our topic here. Um, the MP7, I believe this is going to yep, is really good. The rate of fire is pretty amazing. could be doubled with rapid fire, but I really don't recommend it. Because um, it just puts more uh, recoil on the gun itself. And uh, what's the point of having rapid fire on an SMG? Unless you're using the MP45. Which I really don't. I seldomly use that gun. So if you do see me in a puck lobby... Um, you don't want, you won't see me using UMP-45, it'll be more like, uh, shotguns, because shotguns are pretty fun. Um, and, uh, weirdly, I don't think I'm gonna have a busy schedule this week, so, um, this gameplay is coming to an end. I really hope you enjoyed this guide slash rant about the, you know, Modern Warfare 3, um, thing. Um, 
And uh, my final score is 30 and 12, I believe. See you guys later, and uh, I'm going to go get some pizza to eat. See ya.